We're here with uh, Sven from Elko, and we're here to talk about the electronic stability control. And congratulations on such a revolutionary product. Where did it all start? Where did it come about? Yeah, th- thank you, first of all. It's, uh, it's a product that is based around a product that was developed by our parent company in Germany for mechanical brakes. We then realised that this product would be ideal for the electric brakes because electric brakes really are very instantaneous in the way the brakes come on. And two and a bit years ago we started to experiment with some prototypes and realised that this was a fantastic product and then we've gone through various stages of development and improvement and here we are ready to go to market. Tell me a little bit about about this. I mean, this is obviously an amazing thing for caravans. Cars have had this kind of thing on them for a while, even though it's not mandatory. I mean, how important is this going to be for the industry? If you're thinking about saving lives and you want to make it, uh, you want to make uh, a statement, this is the way to do it. Yeah. Um, The system is just, it's just foolproof. It has the ability to think faster than you. It can control the caravan better than you can. And it's just so much easier. Everybody on the road gets into trouble sooner or later somehow. Absolutely. And uh, and I can see this being passed on to the transport industry as well without too much trouble. How hard is it to put it on, on your caravan? On a new caravan it's very simple. It's uh, pre-made so it fits a certain model of caravan. And we supply it all complete so it's plug and play. And it's um, bolted in place uh, on the under the floor of the caravan just behind the axle mm. and we think it will take about 15 minutes for the manufacturer to fit it so it's a very simple so process. they do it on their production line they will do it on their production line just as a standard installation mm. alternatively it can be done offline but then if you do it on on a caravan on an older caravan then you have to start by measuring the the weight and where it should go and, and do a little bit more work to it and then you have to select the right model I know we're coming up to the straight here and we've got the big chicane coming yep. up. Do you reckon you could give us a little bit of carry going through there, mate? Well, I think we can do that. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready, Warren? All right, now I'm really scared. Can you hear that engine? Oh, it's giving it a run. Okay, so I'm going to feel this kick in as we go through here. Yep. Oh, holy. Whoa, how's that? Oh, I had my heart in my mouth then. That was, that, that was just incredible. When you're coming up to something like that at 80 or 90 k, you think, oh, holy shit, we're not going to make this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is too funny. That is just seriously too funny. So, oh, I really appreciate you taking me out for a drive. No, no, was, good on you, man. Oh, that's great yeah. fun. Great fun. That really was great fun. <laughs> What would you say to the general public about this product and what it's going to do for them? Yes, I guess anyone that wants to go out and tow will probably start off by doing a training course or learning how to tow. But this will ultimately add that extra level of safety so that you know that you go out on the road and even if you make a mistake or someone else makes a mistake around you, you've got something that will save you in that situation. Nice. Thanks very much, man. Okay, pleasure.